The former president, Chen Shui-bian, his wife, Wu Shu-zhen, along with top aides to the former president, Ma Yongchen, and Lin Dexun, and the former first family's bookkeeper, Chen Zhenghui, all acquitted on the charge of embezzlement, were all granted exemptions today. After a battle in the legislative yuan, they passed the revision of the accounting law in the third reading on May 30th, decriminalizing official expenses, which came into effect on June 15th. This has led many to question if it was passed to exonerate the former president, who was accused of using government fees for private purposes, including buying diamond rings, gift certificates, and even paying for health insurance fines, which amounted to more than 100 million NT dollars. Although they were exempted from this act, in regards to the former first family, suspected of money laundering, Wu Shuzhen, the former first lady, was sentenced to two years and confiscated of 2.99 million U.S. dollars. The former president's son, Chen Zhizhong, and his wife, Huang Reijing, were sentenced to one year and ten months in prison, respectively, and they must return the proceeds of crime of 8.16 million. The case of the misuse of presidential office funds was tried after Chen left office. He was sentenced to life imprisonment in the first trial, 20 years in the second trial, acquitted in the first retrial, and pardoned in the second retrial due to the decriminalization. Other cases, including the concealment of state secrets, were suspended by the court due to his supposed health conditions. But Chen will continue to face judicial trials in the future. TVBS English News.